Technological self-sufficiency was a huge part of the draft 15th five-year plan released in October at the end of the Communist Party's fourth plenum. If you read through that draft, you get the clear feel that the Chinese government isn't willing to wait around or waste any time making it happen. The text of the draft says that the government will use extraordinary measures to strengthen innovation and research into strategic technologies. These strategic technologies are things like semiconductors, where Chinese companies are getting there but still can't quite match the world-leading firms from overseas. The trade war has made self-sufficiency in these areas a really pressing issue for the leaders in Beijing. They've had US governments repeatedly threaten or try to strangle access to high-level semiconductors. And this just sets in stone the sentiment that we've seen already from the government, particularly on chips. Because when Nvidia got the all clear to sell US chips to China, uh, initially the government told companies not to buy them. What we don't know is what they mean by extraordinary measures that they're going to use to support strategic tech. There's quite a lot the government is already doing that worked really well during the 14th five-year plan. At the most basic level, that's stuff like funding research. But there's also been a huge drive in China to refocus the country's education system to a STEM focus. That's science, technology, engineering and mathematics. That's something that has been hugely successful to a point where China now ranks second in the world on STEM education behind only the United States. There's also been a lot of incentives put forward for private companies to invest more in research and development. There are some pretty big tax breaks that are currently available for these firms if they're focusing on the right stuff. At the moment, for some sectors, there is a 100% tax break on these sorts of investments. But this is even bigger than it sounds because the government treats it as what's called a super deduction. That means when you spend 100 yuan on R&D, you can claim a 200 yuan tax deduction off your company's income. At the moment, the rate is as high as 120% for some sectors. And there are suggestions that the 15th five-year plan could see it raised to 200%. Another thing flagged in this draft plan is a shift in the role that the state plays in the industry. It talks about being a bridge between researchers, companies and finance. Taking the role of facilitating proper partnerships between all of these groups, rather than just trying to pick who's going to end up with the best product and supporting them. So while the government's intent to develop the tech sector remains unchanged, there is a change and definitely a big expansion in their efforts to get there.